Now we discuss a two mark question which was asked in the previous board exam, February 2014 and March 2017. And the question is show that RMS velocity of gas molecule is directly proportional to the square root of its absolute temperature. Now let's see the answer of this question. So we know that the pressure of the gas, ideal gas, is given by this formula. P is equal to 1 by 3 mn divided by V is the volume multiplied by V square bar. It is a mean square velocity. Now in this formula, we can rearrange the term and we write this formula for mean square velocity. It is 3 PV divided by m into n. By using ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to nRT. We can substitute this PV as this nRT. Then we get the next formula and it is V square bar. Mean, mean square velocity is equal to 3 nRT divided by m into n. Now in that formula, n is the number of moles and it is given by formula number of molecules of a gas divided by Avogadro number. Now let me substitute instead of small n, n upon Na. Then what's the next step? You can see here. Now here we substituted a small n, then this capital N and this capital N get cancelled. So we get a formula 3RT divided by M into N. And if you take a square root of both the sides, so square root of V square bar, and it is nothing but the VRMS, it is equal to square root of this. Now we can cancel this N, N, and the next step we get here, 3RT divided by M into this NA. NA is the Avogadro number. Now this is a formula for RMS velocity. Now here in this formula, M into Na. M is the mass of single gas molecule and A is the Avogadro number. Means it is a molar mass of a gas. Now let me substitute M0 for that. So we get RMS velocity is equal to under root 3 RT divided by M0. Now for a particular gas, if I consider here, it's a particular gas, a fixed gas, then M0 is a molar mass, it is a fixed, R is a gas constant, it is also fixed, then we can write VRMS proportional to square root of T. Hence, we proved. But here you remember one thing. When a problems are asked, when you are solving a problem in that two gases are mentioned, that time you remember here this relation is not hold true. Because when two gases we are considering this, this RMS speed depends on this T and this Mg. So we can write RMS velocity proportional to under root T by Mg. Thank you.